Hi, this is Christian with Central SQL. If you've ever wanted to replace all occurrences of a substring with a new substring using either Postgres, MySQL, or SQL Server, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, so let's get right to it. So what I want to show you today is how we can take some values that we already have in our database and change them to another value. So here we have our pizza DB, our pizza database, and I will show you how you can get a sample of this from GitHub in um, either the comments or I'll put a little card up in the video. And what I want to do is change our uh, drinks from Coke to Pepsi. So what I'm showing you here is a progress database. So I'm actually using um, the Microsoft Azure Data Studio to connect to progress. And I'm doing this a really cool way. I'm using the Postgres, I said progress and I apologize. I'm using the, the Postgres SQL connector and I'm connecting to my sample database to uh, show um, this, these values. And what I want to do now is show you how we can replace these. And we're going to do so um, with uh, the Postgres database. And then I'm going to talk about how this would happen if we were to do this in MySQL or SQL Server. So the basic command that we would use in Postgres is to use the replace command. And essentially it says we'll take the column, product name, look for an occurrence of Coke, and replace it with Pepsi. Now remember in you know Postgres, uh, things are case sensitive, so we need to be sure that we're capitalizing the C in Coke to get a match. So what it's gonna look for is capital C-O-K-E, and then it's gonna replace it with Pepsi. So to do this, let's try a test query first. So I would bring in a test query here where I'll select the product name. We'll call this the original product list. And then we're going to replace this. And we'll show the new product list where we show the replacement with Pepsi. So let's run this right here and see what happens. And you can see where I have Coke, the two liter Cokes being replaced with two liter Pepsi and two liter Diet Coke is being replaced with two liter Diet Pepsi. Now what's really cool is, is that this exact same statement can be done with SQL Server as well as MySQL. So let me bring up a new connection in SQL Server. And run. I get the same result here and now I'm going to change just to show you that this is not case sensitive I'm going to change the C here to lower case and when I run this notice how let's see my replace still works right the coke changes to Pepsi even though it's lowercase coke and this is on SQL server and my SQL would work the same so now let me go back to the Postgres. So this is the Postgres version right here. The reason I know this is, is it's Postgres. So this is the master database I have for Postgres. So if I change this to a lowercase c, notice how this one, we're going to see in the new product list, it's going to stay as Coke, okay? Because I can't find the match. So when I run this, it comes back as Coke. So you may go like, okay, what well, I'm stuck. What can I do to get around this? And actually there's a really, really cool command. It's called uh, regex replace that you can use. Extremely powerful. So if you're really good with the regular expressions, you're gonna find this to be a really awesome command to use. And we're just gonna use it in a really simple form and essentially just use it to say, hey, I wanna go to the product name. I wanna do a replace. I want to replace Coke with Pepsi and I'm going to set a flag that says that my replace is going to be case insensitive. So 
when you're doing the replace I don't really care if coke is uppercase or lowercase if you just come across the characters coke upper lowercase and they match then just change it to capital P Epsi and we're cool so I'm going to um, actually let's just do this make a new query here bring that in I'm gonna change this down here put it in here and when I run this now you'll see that it changes it to Pepsi so here you have the coke being changed to Pepsi and I if I had this like as okay like coke the okay it still should run correctly because it has this flag here that says it's not case sensitive so the regex replace is crucial if you need to have case insensitive um, replacement in Postgres SQL otherwise you can use the replace command in MySQL or SQL server so I hope this helps you when doing uh, replace statements with Postgres or yeah, Postgres SQL or um, MySQL or SQL server and if you have any questions you know, just send me a comment in my blog or here on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer what you uh, bring to me. Thanks, bye.